Hello everyone, in today's video, I will be showing you how you can install Profit Trailer on a Windows machine. To install Profit Trailer, you will need to download three things Java, Notepad, and Profit Trailer on our GitHub page. To download Profit Trailer on our GitHub page, just click on this ProfitTrailer.zip file. And for Java, make sure you download version 8 because if you download version 9, it will not work. So all of the links that I use in this video, I will be putting it down in the description. So after you have downloaded Java and Notepad++, please go ahead and follow the instruction and install them. After that, you want to extract Proofy Trailer out. So just double click on the zip file that you download from our GitHub page and drag this Proofy Trailer folder out to anywhere that you want. After that, you will want to go into the Proofy Trailer folder and edit this file right here, application.properties. Just right click on it and choose edit with Notepad++. So, um, what you want to put in in this config file is the train.exchange and the two API keys. This Telegram settings right here, we will be not we will not cover it in this video but what it does is basically it enable profit trailer to send you messages upon buying or selling we have a text guide on how to set this up on our wiki i will but uh i will be linking it down in the description so for the trade.exchange we currently support three exchanges which are binance poloniex and btrex so just put in the exchange that you bought your license with in here. So in this video, we'll be using Binance. And for the API keys, I will I already prepared. So just need to copy and paste it. But the default API key is the one that you give us when you buy the license. This one will need to activate. This one will be we need to be activated with your license. But this string API keys, it doesn't need to be activated with your license. So you can just create another API keys on the exchange. Both of these API keys, you want to enable all the permission except withdrawal. Um, and there's, there are one, there's one more parameter that is not included in the default config file, which is server.enableConfig. If you set this to true, what it does is basically it will enable you to change all the trading config right on your web GUI. This parameter will only work if you have a password set for, for your web GUI. So make sure you set this. For this for the video guide purposes, I would just use a default password, but for security reason, make sure you set a password and a complicated one. So after you have set everything, to save it and to run Profit Trailer, just click on this bad file right here, run Profit Trailer. So the first time that it run, it will take a while for everything to set up. But after everything is set up and running it for the first time, it will it will automatically open the link to the web GUI. So just give it a minute. I right, should be should be done in a minute now. All right. So as you can see, it's automatically open the link to the web GUI. But for some reason, if it doesn't, just open your browser and enter this link right here: localhost colon eight zero eight one, and you should be greeting with this page, which asking for the password. This is the password that you set in the application.properties files. So I leave it as default. So it is my server password. You put it in and enter. So if I see right here, this config file right here. These are all the files that you can edit all of the trading strategies files i will not be covered in this video but um 
when the f the first time that you run Provi trailer, it will be running in watch mode mode, which mean that it will not be looking for trade opportunities to enable trading. You will need to go into this pairs right here, this pay pairs configuration file right here, and change this old trading enable to true. The change to true and click on save. And now your bot should be running and looking for uh, trading uh, opportunities. That's it, guys. This is the installation, guys, uh, on Windows machine. I will be doing a video on Linux and Mac OS, and I will be linking it down in the description. Thank you.